Hi, everybody. In this meeting, we're going to talk about graphing a hyperbola. Now, there's kind of a, a nice little trick you can use to make this happen really easily. A hyperbola is a shape that looks like two little kind of half parabolas that are facing away from each other. To, to get it right, you have to start it in the right position, get the asymptotes right, and then eventually get the focus points right. So let me show you my trick. Uh, the first thing is we need to know the center. Uh, that's uh, the same for every conic section. The center is x minus the x value, so that's going to be 1. And then y minus, this is like y minus a negative 3. So the center, it's a plus 3. The plus is like minus a negative. So the center is going to be 1 negative 3. Let's start that out right here. There's my center. We'll see there. Um, so now to make my asymptotes correct, I'm going to look at the x and see that we have 36 underneath it. Uh, the square root of 36 is how far we go left and right from the center. And then over here, we have a 4 under the y term. The square root of 4 or 2 is how far we go up and down from the center. So watch this. Uh, we're going to go 6 left and right. I'm just going to go 6, um, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. We're going to go all the way over here. I'm going to put just a tiny little dot. Then we're going to go 6 left, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Put a little, tiny little dot here. And uh, then we're going to go up 2. So we're going to go up 1, 2, and then go down 2, just like that. So I've got those four dots. And now I want to draw an imaginary rectangle. This is not part of the graph. I'm just going to draw it real lightly, but it'll kind of help me make my graph. So I'm going to draw a little line there. Draw a little line there. And then right there. And then right here. OK, so I've got this little box. That box is not my answer. It's not part of the graph. But what it allows you to do is to draw the correct asymptote. So what you do is you just draw the asymptote smack through the corners and the center. So here's my first asymptote. And then my second asymptote is like this. So those are going to help me draw my graph now. And um, um, so if the negative is in front of the y, this is horizontal. Horizontal is a negative in front of y. And if it's vertical, the negative is in front of the x term. So that's just something you have to memorize, unfortunately. So because the negative is in front of y, mine is, uh, is, is horizontal. And now I'm just going to draw my branches in. This is the actual graph now. I'm drawing it in a different color. Draw it like that. Here's the vertex. And then there's one over here. Kind of snuggle it in to those asymptotes. So that is my hyperbola graph. The box is not part of the graph. The asymptotes even aren't part of the graph, um, but it does help you get the actual graph. Um, the last thing I want to do are focus points. Um, so focus points are C away from the vertex. So C squared in this case is A squared plus B squared. Um, C squared, it was, uh, so, 36 plus 4 is what, what a squared and b squared are going to be. It doesn't matter which one's which. So c squared is um, 40. c equals the square root of 40, which is about, um, let's just call that 6.5. I'm going to kind of guess. And so 6.5 is how far you go from the center. Watch this. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Maybe a half is right there. One, two, three, four, five, six. Maybe a half is right there. So those are my focus points. Uh, the focus points have a lot of practical application, uh, especially if you're doing anything with optics. 
uh, or like a, a, a radio dish where there's a receiver at the focus point. I'm not going to deal with that here, of course. But um, uh, anyway, that's how you draw a hyperbola. Just quick review. Find the center, uh, x minus h, y minus k. My center was 1, negative 3. I put that down. And then I just said, OK, the number under the x, take the square root. Same here, take the square root under the y. And I went 6 to the right and left because I had a 36 under my x. I went 2 up and down because I had a 4 under uh, my y. Drew my little box. The asymptotes go through the corner and the center, corners in the center. And then you can just kind of sneak your branches in here. If we did a negative in front of the x and a positive in front of the y, we'd had a really wide, fat hyperbola that went up and one that went down. So be careful you notice which sign is where because that tells you whether the parabola, I'm sorry, the hyperbola goes up or down.